I'm Pop Siegel and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you our first drill on the square or kotak. This is a palm and footwork drill on the square. I'm going to show you the basic way to practice it and the intermediate way to practice this particular drill while stepping on the square. And now, oh, before I forget, please like and subscribe so you don't forget and I can continue to bring these videos to you. The square is wherever I put my feet. All you need is this one simple square as long as you learn how to navigate it and internalize it. Now the square should be the length on the four sides as a full stride, meaning from the beginning or end of one toe to the end of another toe. And not simply a simple step like most people make a casual step, but a real energetic stride where you step forward. So it's measured to your stride, the person doing it. If it's a little off, it's no big deal. And certainly someone that's close to my size and, and leg length and stepping patterns can use square, or you can do it on the inside or outside to make up for a little bit of differences. But again, I'm going to show you the basic and the intermediate way to practice this. The basic one is simply for you as a practitioner to get used to maintaining your balance, learning the moves, and manipulating your skeleton in space while you're going through the movements and memorize these movements. In this movement, you're going to see a side step and a rear leg sweep or beset. Um, at the intermediate level is when you really get down to, since you know the movements now from practicing the basic movements for quite some time. Don't rush into this. Take your time. You're not going anywhere and you'll be much better. But you're learning how to using the coiling and uncoiling motions more deliberately. And the basic one, you're learning this too. And that's what the square is for. To teach you fundamentals more completely. But I really want to stress in the basics that you maintain that relaxed posture, maintaining your balance and learning how to move your center and memorizing these movements at the basic level. At the intermediate level, you learn how to perfect these movements and emphasize the coiling and uncoiling and the rotation of your joints while maintaining the ground path and as you move your center and body and skeleton through space. Where side step while coiling, uncoiling while stepping forward with a palm strike, then rear leg foot sweep to Back step, the set, then again, coiling, uncoiling while stepping forward, rear leg back sweep to the set, and repeat. your drill. In the beginning, don't worry about it, just memorize the movements, and I'm going to go over it with you step by step once again. So, that is, you're standing at the edge of your ponchar, at the edge of your square, you're standing at the edge of your square, where you coil and sidestep, bring your hand up, coiling in, inward elbow, lifting palm, Torquing palm here, touching your elbow, then step forward while you uncoil with striking palm. From here, you can see the side of the square is centering my body. And from there, we do a rear leg foot sweep or beset, and you follow it along and you move into lifting palm on this side and pressing palm on this side and you can see I've stepped over from there and uncoiled 
in another direction, diagonally to my flank, my right rear flank. And from here, you coil again, uncoil, stepping forward, the set again, and repeat. Now remember, this is just a drill. You're learning about many things here, and there are certain realizations that will occur to you while you do this drill. Do this drill for about three minutes at a time. I want you to work on your skills. I don't want you to work yourself into a cardiovascular failure while you're doing this at first. Later on, sure, when you're practicing, that's a great way to perfect your skills while you gain some athleticism. However, in the beginning, I want you to com concentrate on the basic movements and getting it down, learning how to manipulate your skeleton. This is all about gaining the Bagua Kuntal Silat body in a real self-defense situation. That's what these drills are for. So you can perform them while under stress and duress and someone else is trying to strike you, take advantage of you, or harm you. By practicing these drills, you'll be able to work them when someone is actively trying to resist you and harm you. So that said, you can see the basics. Now at the intermediate level, again, we're going to stay relaxed and as we did before, more importantly is emphasizing the coiling and maintaining the ground path. You should have done that in the basics, but I know while you're learning it, you simply don't. But at the intermediate level, after you've practiced these movements, and I did them before in that particular way, so you can see they were basic, emphasizing simply the movements and learning how to do it on the square. Now, we will emphasize the entire body moving at all places, so we maintain our balance, maintain our ground path, manipulate our center and our weight, so it moves where we want it to move and impacts our opponent as we need to, and we're coiling our body and uncoiling our body to manipulate the energy we generate properly. Now, at the intermediate level, you're going to see we're going to go lower, and it's going to step through here as I'm looking for you, and the coiling is a little more emphasized, and we stay lower, and we strike, and the beset, again, we stay low, lifting palm, again, And you want to go slow. Why? Because it's harder when you go slow. You can't use inertia to help you cover up any of your errors. The movements are the movements. And you're maintaining that control of your center so that you know how to manipulate it as necessary for your own benefit and to the detriment of your opponent. Now you can see it's slower at the intermediate level as our movements are because we're becoming more aware of our movements and more aware of everything else that we do. And we're slowing it down because this is where we're trying to work on the perfection phase of what we do. Are you ever going to be perfect? No. But we try to be perfect at the intermediate level. And this is how you do that. And I'll show you here from the side, intermediate level.
I hope you gain some for this and you practice it. This is the first drill, stepping on the square, that we use so you can work on your palm and your body work in Bhagwan Kung Chao Sila. And you'll see it's directly related to the first self-defense application I've shown in a formal class. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.